Hey guys, I have a uh, review video for you today. I was contacted by Born Pretty Store. It's an online nail art um, beauty store. Basically, um, I've always ordered my nail art supply on eBay. But with Born Pretty Store, it's like a giant collection of all nail arts and makeup cosmetic uh, products at the same place and they actually have really great prices because I bought my stuff on eBay before and of course you know I have to take out the time and browse through and make sure that I get the lowest price and I also um, when I when I actually pick the product with the lowest price I also have to worry about the the seller I'm not sure if it's a if the person who sell that item to me is trustable but for this store you know that you're working with a trustable source and with whatever the price that they put there which is already great price um, you will definitely get quality product so when they asked me to pick out one product to review I was really excited to pick out this stud basically a wheel uh, with 12 different compartments and each one of them contain a bunch of studs in different uh, sizes and shapes. The product is sold on the Born Pretty store for $4.98. So it's measure almost two and a half inches across. I don't know the exact number of studs in each compartment, but I know that there's 12 different designs um, and there's just a lot. It looks like even if you do design on all 10 fingers using just one compartment, you have like quite a few manicure to work with. Like this one with the smaller size stud is filled to the brim with the studs. So now I'm going to zoom in and uh, show you the detail and before I do that I just want to let you know that Born Pretty Store actually created the um, coupon code specifically for my viewer and it's a site-wide discount of 10% so if you use the code um, you can buy anything they have um, makeup brushes uh, supplies of many different types they even have some home stuff if you check them out, it's really fun to browse through that what they have. And the code is NHHW10. I will leave all of that in the description box below. And of course, I will also leave the direct link to this specific product just in case you're interested. So now let's look at each of them. So for the first compartment, you have some lighter color gold swear studs and there's a bunch of them in there so for the next compartment we have a little deeper gold color circular stud and with that size I say it's probably one and a half millimeters if you actually care at all but um, I'm not sure if you go and order right now you'll be getting the same collection of studs main reason why I selected this wheel to begin with was because it has such a great variety and it's actually pushed me to be more creative with my nail design. The next compartment has the same size as the previous one but the studs are black and because of this color it actually gives me an idea you know how like you see my nails right now I'll show you how to play some studs but my nails right now is painted black because I have this idea of like if you put studs on your nail it should be all edgy and stuff but it does not have to you can put the stud on your nails to create some texture and actually paint it over it and I think it would be really cool I've never tried that before the next compartment has larger square um, gold stud and this is a lighter gold color almost similar to the first one compartment has these teeny tiny deeper gold color circular studs 
and I think these would be really beautiful if you want to um, actually make some other shapes out of it say if you want to arrange them in a flower shape or something studs don't have to be um, tough in the next compartment we have some square studs in silver next compartment are these adorable stud in the heart shape here I'll just take one out and show you how adorable are these for Valentine's Day or even just put one on your ring finger as an accent name and the next one is star shape and I'm looking forward to 4th of July to use them the next compartment has some gold circular but larger than what we saw before the next compartment has these circular shape studs but there actually has a circle in the center so they look like a prong imagine if you have acrylic nails and you put this at the edge of your nails and you actually drill a hole into it and hang a little charm at the end of your nails it would be really adorable it looks like a binder ring you know so i love that and the next compartment has the same thing but instead of silver we have gold and here the last compartment let me turn one over they're all turning the other side the last compartment is this oval shape stat and that's all 12 compartments that I just shown you guys so now that I showed you the product I will show you how to put them on the nails um, no specific design for this just the technique of putting them on is quite easy it's the same as any other nail art embellishments um, on my fingers right now is a uh, polish from Spoil. It's a line from Wet n Wild. It's called Visually Slimming and it's just a basic black color and I don't have a top coat on it yet. Just two um, coats of this black polish. Now it's the easiest to attach these studs onto your nail using just a clear polish or top coat but definitely you don't have to. You just need something sticky. So if you were to know exactly where you want to place these studs, just paint one layer of nail polish and then when you put the second layer on each finger while the polish is still wet, you can already place a stud on there and then top coat everything so that the polish and the whole design doesn't have to be um, too thick. So I have two coats of my polish on here now, so I'm going to use a clear top coat to attach my studs and I'm going to use my regular dotting tool to pick up the studs but you can always do a tweezer or something to get them out of their compartment so first let's put a layer of clear polish and because I want to attach the stud right down the center of my nails I will um, put only a line of studs a line of clear polish down the center but you can always cover your entire nails and I'm choosing these square shaped studs and I decided to just place the entire row of it down the center of my nails with some gap in the center I mean some gap in between And you have some time to reposition the stud. So once you're happy with the placement, just top it up with another layer of top coat to make sure that it stays in place and protect it. So there you go. That's how you attach these studs and I'll definitely do many nail designs um, with these studs so watch out for them and that's it 
I hope you enjoy this product review and I hope you take advantage of the promotion code specifically made for my viewer. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.